Hello and welcome in another Python tutorial and in this one I will show you how you can extract all the links from a website using Python. Now for the purpose of this video I chose bplans.com. You can use this website or you can use another one and we're going to use two libraries. The first one we're going to import a request and it would allow us to request and get the content from the website. Now once we have the website we're going to import from bs4 beautiful soup which would allow us to find the links that are part of the website. So I will create a variable URL, which will have the URL of the website that we want to extract links from. And next we want to use the request library to get the content. So I'm going to store that into a variable website. So that would be equal to requests.get URL. Now this website contains a lot more than the HTML code which has the links, it contains uh, tags, it contains language, but we are only interested in the HTML code. And uh, in this object, it's stored as text. So I'm going to create a new variable, website text, which would be equal to website.text, so website.text. Now, we can also use regular expressions and get the links, but I think using beautiful soup is a bit easier, especially for beginners. So I'll continue with that for the purpose of this video. And the next step would be, I want to run this text through this beautiful soup library, and I'm going to store the output in a variable soup. So beautiful soup, and then I'm going to run website text. Now I can use the beautiful soup uh, find all function to find all the links within the soup that we just created but I also want to store the links to a list. So I'm going to create an empty list, maybe links. And what I want to do is for every link in soup.findall, and what I would like to find is basically these A tags or those anchor tags. And if you basically, if you go to, the, to your website, right click and then go to inspect element, what you would notice is that all of the links have the same structure, which is A followed by H, ref and then containing the link that we're looking for. So, and this is, this is of course an HTML code, but this is the same structure. And I encourage you go to the website, right click inspect element, and you will notice this. So what we want to do is we want to find all of these anchor tags, and then we want to find this link, which is stored in the href. So for every link, basically for every reference that we find that contains the link, we want to use links.append, so we would append it to our empty list of links. And what we're going to append is links, link.get and then href. Now, what I want to do is maybe for every link that we have stored in the links list, I want to print it so we see that it works. And I also want to have, see how many links we have in total. Now, sometimes there are some websites where you would find a character or not a, an actually working link to a website. So what you can do is, or maybe let's just run the code and see if we have some of those in on this website. So this is the output. These are all the links that we can find on the website. And um, I do see some links that are just a character, such as these, and we can avoid uh, storing these by creating, for example, an if function, if, for example, HTTPS is involved in the link, then I want to include it in my list. Otherwise, I just want to skip it. And there are a total of 248 links or a bit less if you get rid of these characters. Now, one more thing, if you want to use this for five websites, then it wouldn't be smart to copy this code five times, but instead you can create a function. And what I mean by that is you can use, let's say get links as a function, which would take the URL. And what it would do is basically everything that we just did here. So if you just indent it, you can use this function now. So uh, get links and let's say the URL that we just have, but also we can use um, for this, I don't know, google.com or whatever it is. So any website that you want, this is how you can use the function and you can use it for as many as you want, of course. 
And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.